Hello lovely people, hope you're doing well. Um, okay, so today hopefully should be a fairly short video because I've only got one book to talk about. Um, and that it is by one of my favourite authors who's Neil Gaiman, um, who I know is a lot of people's favourite author because he is a fantastic writer with a wonderful imagination. Um, but one of the things I really love is when he teams up with Chris Riddle, Riddell. I actually don't know how to pronounce his name because I've never actually heard it pronounced, but Chris, Chris, one of those, um, who is an amazing artist. He was um, the Children's Laureate, I think, last, it was either 20, 2016 or 2017, I'm not entirely sure which, um, and he is just fantastic, completely amazing imagination and incredible talent. And when the two of them work together, it, it's magical what they create. Um, so this one, Sleeper in the Spindle, this is absolutely stunning. I mean, look at that cover. That actually does come off. Um, let's see, we've got the picture underneath. Um, and this is another one of those books which came into the bookshop and I had to order another one because I just didn't even put it on the shelf. I was like, no, no, that one's mine, that one's mine. <laughs> um, and although it is a picture book and it's shorter, I would say this is definitely young adult. It, it's not a kid's book as such. It's full of, look at that, isn't that beautiful? It's full of Neil Gaiman's sort of signature sense of humour and his beautiful writing style. Um, and basically there is the sleeping sickness coming over the kingdom. And it's the day before the um, Queen is about to get married. And we don't know the Queen's name because, as it says in here somewhere, names are in short supply in this retelling, um, which I think is kind of fantastic. But we're guessing she's Snow White, I think, um, or I am, <laughs> because there are dwarfs and things that come into it as well, so, you know, we're thinking that. But anyway, it's the morning of her wedding, and she's found out that there is sleeping sickness threatening her kingdom, so what does she do? She called for her first minister and informed him that he would be responsible for the kingdom in her absence, and that he should do his best neither to lose it nor to break it. She called for a map of the kingdom, identified the villages closest to the mountain, sent messengers to tell the inhabitants to evacuate to the coast or risk royal displeasure. She called for a fiancé and told him not to take on so, and that they would still be married, even if he was but a prince and she a queen, and she chucked him beneath his pretty chin and kissed him until he smiled. She called for her mail shirt, she called for her sword, she called for provisions and for her horse, and then she rode out of the palace towards the east. And there she goes. And that's entirely the sort of behaviour I expect from my fairy tale queens. <laughs> um, and the story goes on. I won't go into it too much because I don't really want to give too much of it away. Um, suffice to say, there is a lovely retelling. There are beautiful illustrations all the way through. Um, and it has a, a lovely and very suited ending. It's, um, it's perfect. Um, I have, I've never actually been that big on fairy tales, so I've not read many fairy tale retellings. Um, when I was a kid, my favourite fairy tales were actually Roald Dahl's Revolting Rhymes, <laughs> which very sadly I can actually still recite from memory today, some of them. Um, that's a bit worrying, that's probably taking up valuable space that could be used for better things. <laughs> um, and I've also become that really annoying sort of adoptive aunt who buys all the children of my acquaintance uh, Roald Dahl's Revolting Rhymes. It, and sometimes scares them with them. Um, sorry, Summer. <laughs> um, but yeah, so my experience with fairy tale retellings is very, very limited. But based on this, I wouldn't mind reading some more. So if that is a genre you're interested in, let me know below and tell me what books you recommend starting with. Because yeah, I, I think I'd be quite interested to try some. Um, and yeah, and that's all. So thanks very much for listening and watching, and we'll see you later. Bye.